This is Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All right, what do I feel like? His camera's so close to me and I need to move it so I can have some space. Woo, hold on. Okay, let's rock and roll. So as you know, I've been announcing this. Sorry, that's my chair, it's squeaky squeaky. I have been announcing this on all of my reads. I'm no longer doing love readings as of right now. I put up a community poll and the vote was unanimous. Everyone wants to see regular reads, not love reads at this time. So I'll put up another poll next month. If you guys want to go back to seeing the love reads, I will do them. Um, as of right now, I'm doing regular general reads, not love reads. And... Um, I will continue to do the Divine Masculine and Feminine um, energy updates for the Twin Souls, but that is as close as I will get to the love department. All right, one second. I'm going to light some incense. I just realized that I paused my camera at 111. That's crazy, Virgo. That's absolutely crazy. Y'all, that's alignment like... I, you wouldn't even believe, like, what? Does that number mean something for y'all? I don't know. That's crazy. I've never seen that type of alignment. One, one, one. It's been a long time since I'm cleaning this. It's a little bit dusty. It's been a long time since I had an alignment like that. That's insane. You know what? I've been seeing lots of ones lately. Um... My best friend, Chrissy, sent me something the other day, and it was like, she literally had like six ones in a row. Like, that was her mileage. And I was like, what? So, I don't know. Something significant about the ones for all of us. All right. So, I've already cleansed your space, and let's go. I'm going to invite my guides, your guides. The Virgos that watch me, guides, ancestors, star family, guardian angels, and in particular, Archangel Michael to protect our space. And we are reading now for the beautiful earth sign of Virgo. What do we got for Virgos? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Six of Pentacles. Ooh, so Six of Pentacles is about a gift. Well, it is Christmas, right? You guys are going to get a particularly juicy gift, okay? I don't know what it is. Could be money. Queen of Wands. got for Virgos? Ten of Wands. <laughs> you guys are feeling a little bit tired and weighed down. It's Mercury retrograde, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, this is natural to feel like this. Why are my pants wet? <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that, Virgo. I had to change my pants. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know. There was something wet. On the back knee of my pants. Okay, so I see that you are creating a lot right now, Virgo. Um, but it shows me that you're getting really close to being burnt out. So be really careful, okay? Um, Ten of Wands is about fatigue and feeling really worn down, okay? Now, for some of you, this could have something to do with a fire sign um, feminine because we have Queen of Wands, which, you know, if it's not representing your creative feminine spark, then it represents a feminine who is wearing you out. Um, now, take that as it resonates. For some of you, it could be your mother. For some, it could be a wife, a girlfriend. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, Virgo. Um if this is you creating, I would suggest taking a little bit of a break. 
Um, some of you could be doing some traveling as well. Um, you know, I feel like because it's about to be Christmas, you know, a lot of you will be traveling. But the Ten of Wands is also about travel. So, all right, Temperance. For Virgo and the magician. Wow. <laughs> you got two major arcana back to back, Virgo. That is a beautiful look on you. Let's see what else we have that goes with this major arcana. Six of cups. Is that six of cups? No, it's nine of cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is. Oh, that was six of cups it's nine of cups okay so we have temperance the magician and the nine of cups so there is something virgo that you have been so hard up about trying to manifest okay and i see that it's taking a very very long time virgo we have temperance which shows me patience this is also about you Learning the beautiful positive trait of learning how to alchemize negative energies and turn them into positive ones. But that this in conjunction with the magician shows me that you have been, there's something heavy that you have been wishing for or trying to manifest for a really, really long time. Look, the nine of cups is about a wish being, being um, fulfilled, okay? That with the magician shows me it's something you've been trying to manifest for a really long time. You've been extremely patient and it's on the way, Virgo. Now I can see it with the nine of cups. This is a wish being fulfilled and it's it could have to do with money. The fish represents wealth and abundance, but it could have to do with your emotions. So this could be something in regards to love. A love wish coming true. All right. The magician is like this weird little bunny creature <laughs> in this in this deck, which is kind of funny. So this tells me that whatever it is you're trying to manifest is going to come in very swiftly like the bunny, right? Bunnies are fast. So we also have the sun and the moon and the sun and the moon on both these cards. There's also a bunny here and a turtle here. So it reminds me of the turtle and the hare story, right? <laughs> so it's about balancing your energy, the urge to want to be swift with the energy of, you know, slowing down like the turtle. Look at that. This possibly could be a love offer from someone, Virgo. The, right on the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. And again, the chariot, the energy of traveling but also of learning to control your emotions, right? All right, that's pretty good energy, Virgo. Let's go on to the, you know what? Let's pull a Power of Love card for you and then we'll move on to the Dragon Tarot, okay? I think I'm going to call your reading. What did you wish for? When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are When you wish upon a star Your dreams come true Virgo, your wishes are coming true. That makes me happy. All right, let's see what else we have for beautiful Virgo. I had to break out a song for y'all. My heart is so full of love. All right, what else do we have for our beautiful Virgos? The gods and goddesses of the zodiac. Oh, look at that, Virgo. We have joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. This is so divinely true. My daughter is a Virgo and she's just a, just a bundle of sun. Everywhere she goes, she just invites 
so much love and happiness. People just give her things because she's just so full of love and so much joy, just like this says. So remember to bring that beautiful, contagious, joyful, loving energy that you have to the table, Virgo, and it's going to bring you so much fun, okay? It's going to bring you so much happiness. So much fun in the sun, even though it's it's winter, right? Um, <clears throat> we can still continue to have fun in the sun. Where I live in Michigan, it is pretty cold, but we have no snow, so it is not a white Christmas. So, yeah, it's been a pretty mild winter here, which is strange because usually for us in Michigan is cold as sin oof but it has been beautiful and mild and i love it i feel like we're definitely in the 5d thick of things creating this beautiful warm weather and this you know <clears throat> lovely warm climate year round all right what do we got for virgo what else does virgo need to know about december this is a timeless read. I said December, but you know, whenever you find it, it's for you. Ten of Pentacles. So you do have some significant amount of wealth coming in, okay? So I'm getting ready to do two career cards for you. So we'll definitely dive into that in a minute. But Virgo, thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. We have Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Wow, this, so this money that's coming in, Virgo, is going to create so much beautiful stability for you, right? Four of Wands is about committing to yourself. It's about committing also to someone. It could be like commitment in a relationship, like marriage. Um, so it, <laughs> it could be a marriage proposal, right? We don't, I don't know. That's going to be different for all of you, but it's definitely committing to creating stability for yourself as in like buying a home, um, securing property for yourself. It's about securing things for your future, right? You know, retirement funds, all of those beautiful things, which create stability in your life. Assets. All those wonderful things. There it is again. Another offer of love. Knight of Cups. So not only do you have money coming in, Virgo, you also have an offer of love. The Knight of Cups is one of those, one of the most romantic characters, one of the most romantic knights in the whole tarot deck. And they come with an offer of sincere love. Okay. Now they... They could be younger than you. Knights is like young energy. Not as young as the page, but I would say like early 30s. Right? Wow, the hero fans. Yes, there's definitely. I swear, every time I'm like, I'm not going to read for love. Love seems to come out in every fucking read. <laughs> uh, and there goes the potty mouth. All right, so we have an offer of love. Possibly marriage. We got two cards of marriage, Virgo. We have the Hierophants, okay? And then we also have the Four of Wands. And they're both surrounding this offer of love. So, <laughs> you have a lot of money, honey. You also have somebody who wants to settle down with Virgo. What a beautiful reading. How are you going to have money and love coming in at the same time? Damn it, Virgo. <laughs> I am jealous. Why can't all the readings be this beautiful? What is the last and final message you have for Virgo? <laughs> we don't even need to keep going. This reading is so good. All right, we have the devil. Why do we have the devil here? We gotta we gotta dive deep into this, Virgo, because this is not a good energy. Well, it's not a bad energy either, but you know something is is brewing. What do we have? This is about temptations and it could be possible lust. It's, 
you know, vices and things which can hold us back. It can also mean incredible power. But with great power comes great responsibility. So why do we have the devil here for Virgo today? Why do we have the devil for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know about this devil card, please? Six of Wands. Okay, so there could be some type of... This is the fame and fortune card, Virgo, right? This is the card of being recognized publicly. But remember, with, with things like fame and fortune, there is great temptation to not always make the right decisions. So be careful when this, whatever this is, whether it's fame and fortune or some kind of high acclamation of public recognition, right? It's in your job, it could be a raise. For some of you, it's literal like some kind of wealth or fame, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, it very well could be some amazing opportunity which will make you extremely wealthy and famous. But remember with that energy that there comes different vices and temptations, okay? So always remain true to your beautiful hearts, Virgo, okay? You always want to make the right decision in regards to your your soul's path, okay? What is, let's get one more card for Virgo, please. Beautiful energy, Virgo. My hair is getting caught in the cards. <laughs> Last card for Virgo, please. We had the Knights of Wands. So this is the energy of moving forward very quickly, right? But it's also um, moving a little bit too quickly sometimes can... Um, this can be the card of like moving so fast that you don't really take time to think things, think things through. It's the energy of being super hasty and not really taking the time to make a decision, you know, with patience. So be careful about just jumping on this opportunity. Make sure that you dot your I's and cross your T's and make sure that you read the fine prints of any contracts and you take time to think and pause because I see that you're going to want to jump right in when this opportunity comes, this opportunity for love or for wealth or whatever it is. And you want to make sure that the decision that you're making is right for you. Okay, perfect. So good. Okay, let's do a career portion. Okay, take a water break. So now let's do a card for those who work in nine to five or work for someone else in the corporate, you know, that someone that works a nine to five job and works for someone else. It doesn't have to be corporate, you know, whatever it is that you do for nine to five. I call them the matrix jobs. <laughs> someone has to do them, right? All right, and let's get the one a card for those who work for themselves, the entrepreneurs, or the ones who run their own business. For Virgo, the entrepreneurs. Okay, so for those of you that work at nine to five, we have gratitude list. See that? Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. Huh. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. So... You know, the universe is saying, do not be disgruntled, Virgo, about anything in your life, but instead show appreciation for everything that comes your way. People, places, opportunities, the fact that you are working this job so that you can have the money to appreciate the things that you have. Okay, so a little gratitude goes a long way and it will multiply your blessings. All right, for those who are entrepreneurs, we have... Release negative resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world 
Is that focused? Can seem upsetting. But holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. Oh, I love that. And the shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. So if you change your feelings about money and it can, you know, quit saying, oh, there's never enough money. Gas is too expensive. Oh, blah, 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 blah. The price of living was way lower when I was a kid. All of this stuff. The universe hears everything you're saying. Try to change that tune into thoughts of abundance as in I am so happy and lucky to be able to have money to put for gas in my car. I am so lucky that I can afford gas. I'm so lucky to have gas, you know. Um, I'm so grateful that things have changed from when I was a child, right? Show an attitude of gratitude and watch how your life will shift. Also, the universe is saying if you can see money as a tool, as in a tool that you can use to better shape the world and to shift things, right? So, for instance, donating to as many charities as you can, especially around this giving season, Virgo, right, is going to shift your energy. The universe is going to go, oh, this person has money to spare, so let's give them more because this person is, is helping their serving humanity with their finances, so let's give them more money to serve humanity, right? It's all about helping, and especially during this time of year. I've given to so, so many of my loved ones during this time, you know, and, you know, even though I'm not rich, I definitely am not rich, right? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> um, I have just enough to give, you know, to help those who d might not have as much as I do. So that's way, my way of showing the universe, if you give me good things, I will make sure to give the good things back, okay? All right, I love you, Virgo. If something in this reading resonated, please smash the like button, share with all your beautiful Virgo friends, and subscribing and liking our, and sharing are, are free ways that you can assist my channel. It really helps me in the algorithm, you guys, and I fucking appreciate it so much. If you want to book a reading, just click in the description box below my videos and click on the Goldie Appointment Fix, and your reading will be booked. I love you, Virgo. Bye.